yeah, the game got twice as big, so twice the success would be great. <laughs>
uh, easier to handle and so on. So uh, we took a lot of feedback from the people, of course. Some of the things is where we as a dev developer said, well, deal with it because it's design, design choice. We want the lock picking to be the way, uh, but I, we know that not everyone loved it. So we tried to tweak it, fine tune it. And that's what we did with pretty much everything in the game. So the combat, for instance, I can remember years ago that I always uh, said that, yeah, the combat system of KCD, it's easy to learn, hard to master. I think the hard to master is something that we nailed, the easy to learn not so much. <laughs> so uh, these are the things where we saw, okay, gotcha guys, so we will try to adjust the combat a little bit, not dump it down or something, but streamline it more, make it more accessible. If you want to learn and invest the time into the sword fighting, you can do all the tricks and combos and everything, that's fine, that's for the hardcore combat guys. But if you don't want to do that, if you feel that this is too complicated and you don't want to bother with that, well, then you take a maze, an axe or whatever. This has less zones to attack, a much more straightforward uh, action, uh, uh, attacking scheme and so on. So we try these things to offer different possibilities for everyone to enjoy the KCD, their, uh, to enjoy KCD their way. Nice. And you mentioned earlier that, you know, the first game is, you know, well up and over six million copies sold. When you kind of had a big success like that, what so kind of what does success look like for the second game is that we want all the existing people to come back and we want to attract a bunch more people or what are mm. kind of targets have you have you got there before i announced the game uh before we announced the game kcd2 we were exactly asking this question ourselves like uh what if we waited too long with kcd2 what if we what if the people the community the fans were not appreciated that we took so long if, will they come back will they jump on the bandwagon and luckily knocking on wood Luckily, they all, the, the sleeping giant woke up and it was even way stronger than we expected. So the hardcore community woke up, the new guys jumped on the bandwagon. Those people attracted then streamers all over, over the world who never heard of KCD. So the, really, the scope is even bigger from the get-go. So, uh, of course, we want to attract new ones, of, new players, of course, uh, but uh, also balancing... Uh, the existing community in a way that, for instance, the, in the beginning of the game, when, when you started, we need to serve both. So I think we did it in a very easy and nice way that we that there are some tiny inside jokes for the people who know KCD1 and say, oh yeah, sure, I remember. But then again, there's enough explanations and flashbacks and kind of smooth talking um, that bring newcomers up to speed. But we tell you the very necessary information, which is this is you, this is your friend, this is a letter and you have to de deliver it. And that's pretty much ev everything you need to know. Uh, but yeah, the game got twice as big, so twice the success would be great. <laughs> no, yeah, just double it. Yeah. yeah. A tricky thing with any sequel, I think especially with RPGs, where people have put so much time into building their character the way that they want to is so then how do you address th that progress mm -hmm. what can you say about the way that you've chosen to kind of not carry through uh, like sure. skill points or whatever from from the previous one so um, in KCD1 Henry kind of grows from boy to man and in KCD2 from man to warrior but KCD1 was more of a rural area so villages, bandits luring in the in the forest, a few humans or some trained soldiers, but it was pretty much low league. And I sometimes say that KCD, imagine that someone is the champion of some Sunday league and now he's going to the Premier League. So yeah, he was a champion in this lower leagues, but now he has to face way bigger challenges and way bigger opponents. So Harry, Henry is getting dragged on the big stages. All of a sudden he's facing kings, nobility, trained soldiers, armies even. Something that he hadn't, deal to, hadn't to deal with uh, in KCD1. So it's not like he has to learn how to walk again, but he has to hone his skills and make them better. So some of the things are carried over from KCD1. So he can read, he has a dog, he knows how to sword fight and so on. So there, the basics are there. But in order uh, to, like, it's, it's an RPG. You want to loot and level the character, right? That's that's one of the big parts of, of, of RPGs generally. So we just give you more skills and more interesting new things to learn and uh, get even better. So it's yeah, a bit of both for everyone. Yeah. Would you generally have any 
tips or tricks or advice for players as they kind of jump into the game, new or old players? Take your time. This is really, that's, I guess, the, the biggest advice I have. So uh, take your time, sit down, let yourself immerse, immerse into uh, the game. Uh, when, you, when you feel like something is too hard or too tricky, try to find a new solution, new way. Pretty much every quest in the game has several solutions, how you can tackle it. Brute force is a way, but not the way. So you can try to speed your way through the game. You can try to come at night. There's always, like, poison the enemies if you need to do something like that. But there's really, we always tell you kind of where to, what, what's the aim of the, the quest. Go and do this particular thing. But how you do this is really up to you. That's why take your time, sit, ba uh, sit back, relax, try to analyze the situation, and then use your brain to go forward. Nice. Use your, oh, so just sum it up to just use your brain. <laughs> 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 well, well, thank you so much for taking the time and for putting on this event. It's thank been, you very much. Really fun. Thank you for having me. Awesome.